Hello everyone and welcome back to Comic Vantage. Now, this giant stack here can only mean one thing. Yes, that means mailbag day. Oh boy, and we have got a lot of packages to open for today's mailbag day. So I'm going to start moving some of these aside and we will get back to them. Yes, that's, oh, look at that big one. Man, it's light though. But first, like always, here at Comic Vantage, we have the package of shame. And I have three packages of shame today. Yes, that's right. Count them three. Three, one, two, three. Packages of shame. And uh, I got three, and you will see why. So, this is the first one. Look at that. Actually, I'm going to move my camera up here a little bit. There we go. Look at that. This is our first package of shame. Now, I already have... Really? Oh, hey, oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, do not bend. Uh -huh. Mailman listens to that. Oh, yeah, so this, let, let me show you what this book came in. Oh, look at that, yep. This is the bag and board. Oh, wait, wait, oh, we have some packing in here. Are you kidding me? An O'Reilly Auto Parts, oh, I'm sorry, there are two O'Reilly Auto Parts flyers to protect the book all right let me show you what the book is but chow lady death issue number one chromium cover Bwah. yes this is the mini series from 1994 oh, i absolutely love this book i cannot stop buying it it is absolutely amazing all right so there's our first package of shame let me show you our second package of shame Oh, this came from our friends at Searchlight Comics, by the way. So, oh wait, there, there, there is something in there, though. Oh, oh, you know, at least they packed a little bit of bubble wrap around a bubble wrap mailer. And, of course, the bag and board that it came on. Look at this crunch. Do you see that? Yeah, the book was in there. Oh, but, you know, at least they tried with a single piece of... Look at all the perforations in this cardboard. What is that going to protect? Are you kidding me? Look at this. No wonder the book bent right there. And now... <sighs> it was another one. Yeah, I bought two. Two different sellers. Two different packages of shame. Can you believe this? Seriously. Oh, wait. There's a third. <laughs> uh, now, oh, but wait a second. That's not a, that's not a package of shame. What, what is happening here, Lewis? Look at, wow, that is so well packed. Man, great. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. No, these aren't packages. These are books of shame. Again. <sighs> these were listed as very fine condition. Do you see the water damage? No? No? Okay. Maybe you'll see the mold. Both books soaked in water, covered in in mold yeah books of shame i don't know what is up with sellers destroying lady death comic books right now what is wrong with you people seriously all right so i'm gonna go wash my hands throw those promptly into the trash seller already gave me a refund so those are going away and uh i'll be back all right i'm back clean hands washed for 20 seconds <laughs> all right <clears throat> Now let's get these boxes and stacks rolling here. Woohoo! We're gonna get to the good stuff now. Man, all right. Okay, let's get this box opened. Wow, this is kind of insane that a box this huge has a couple of comic books in it. Or I don't even know what's in here. It feels really light, so it can't be. I don't know. Usually when it comes like this, I ordered like 50 comic books, but this is really, really, whoa, look at this packing. Man, all right. Jeez, this is somebody that orders from Midtown because Midtown always packs their books in these things. 
I know because I order from Midtown and I keep them to recycle myself. All right, here we go. <laughs> All of that box for that little package right there. All right, not complaining. I'm gonna save that packing. Okay. <laughs> More razor blade time. Okay. Even more packing. This is somebody who did not want these books getting hurt. I do not remember what these are. See two books. Okay. All right, so we have two books here. First up is. Burr, burr, burr. Oh, look at that. Dark Cybertron number one, Transformers. And this is a Rob Liefeld variant cover. So I'm going to adjust my camera here. Jump. There we go. I had no idea Rob Liefeld did a Transformers cover. And that was just too novel not to buy. So there's that. Let's see. What's the other book back here? Oh, a Gen 13 variant. Oh, this is issue number one from the ongoing series. Back when they made this, they made... I mean, this is when variant covers really started going crazy. They released 13 different variant covers, which, are, which at the time was unheard of for uh, an issue to come out. So that's really cool. Man, gorgeous cover. I did not realize these both came from the same seller. I bought them at different times, like probably like a day apart. Okay, that's cool. All right, good stuff there. Next up, what are you? Let us find out. I love my little X-Acto blade. All right, safety first. Okay, what is this? More bubble wrap for me to keep. Oh, yeah. See this? All right. <laughs> okay. There we go. That is Detonator issue number one, the platinum cover. Oh, that is gorgeous. Some of you are probably getting there going, what the heck is Detonator? Now, a lot of people don't realize that Chaos Comics back in the day not only did Evil Ernie and Lady Death, they tried their hand at a few different superhero books, Detonator being one of them. It's actually not a bad story. Cool character. I think they only did like two issues and that was it. So these are pretty hard to get. Oh man, that thing is gorgeous. Beautiful condition. I've actually never seen this before. So as soon as I saw it pop up on eBay, I grabbed it. All right. Next up. What do we got here? Oh, I already sliced the back of the package. <laughs> uh huh. You know, this whole voluntary lockdown thing is going to be really good for some of you guys out there because I'm spending a lot more time buying stuff online. <laughs> so I got more videos coming. Ah. Okay. What is this? Ah, whatever this is, it's taped up really good. Every day is like Christmas here at Comic Vantage. <laughs> All right, big old plastic bag. Wow, okay, there is no use trying to salvage this bubble wrap because it is all taped up. No way in heck I can reuse that. Blue painter's tape. You know, one of the things about blue painter's tape is it's super, super sticky, so I really don't like it for shipping. I prefer the different colors. For some reason, uh, blue 
And of course, standard masking tape is awesomely sticky because I think it's actually made for painting. Stuff like the uh, the purple or the green or the red or the orange or the pink is not as sticky because it's made for, I don't know, everything else other than painting. Alrighty. Wow, okay. Good stuff. All right, well. Now, let's see, what are you? Oh, hey, check that out. He-Man, Masters of the Universe, to tempt the gods. And I'm on this retro comic book kick, so I'm actually collecting a lot of these older books. Um, and as you can see by my mystery boxes, too, a lot of these books are popping up in there because I'm shopping a lot for them. So, there we go. Nice. All right, what else do we got here? Next up... Kind of works. I don't know why I grabbed the scissors for that instead of my. Remember, people, always cut away from yourself. <laughs> Comic banners tip of the day the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got here? We got j4lisacomics.com. Check them out. Woo! Let's see what they supplied me with. They supplied me with some bubble wrap that's really taped up. God. Come on now. Are you kidding? Seriously? Some more bubble wrap that's destroyed and I can't even use all the humanity. All right, come on. You can do this. Bubble wrap is not smarter than you. All right, so here we go. What do we got here? No, oh, sorry. There we go. Lady Death. This is Blasphemy Anthem, issue number one, original art edition. That is right, edition, original art edition, limited to 400 copies right there. I have an awesome, awesome sketch planned for that. Uh, I got somebody who's going to do a commission for me on this, and I'm really, really excited. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Gemini Mailers. Man, somebody packed that really well. Unless there's like a half a dozen books in there, which doesn't feel heavy enough to be. Nope, they just packed it in bubble wrap. Awesome. All right, let's see what this is. Come on. Ha ha. Hey, some good backboards there. I'll reuse those. And you are. Oh, look at that beautiful book. Catwoman number 51. Man, I love this cover. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, it's in pretty good shape, too. Nothing a quick press couldn't handle. All right, on to the next. What else we got here? That's not going to work. Go with the razor blade. Woohoo! Beautiful. Looks like we got a couple books in here. And what are you? Let's find out here. Monstrous. Issue number one. Why did I order this? From the Collector Cave. NYCollectorCave.com I honestly cannot tell you how or why I bought those. Um, 
Yeah, there you go. Anyway, hope I've heard good stories about this, or I've you know, heard good things about the story, so I'm actually excited to read that. So, hey, past me, thanks for buying that. <laughs> That's a nice, well-packed one. Haha. Uh -huh. Stuck it inside a Gemini mailer as well. No wonder it's all nice and packed well. Jeez, come on. The struggle is real. There we go. Looks like they reused their Gemini mailer. So hey, good on them. Whenever I get nice ones in too, I always keep them and reuse them. All right. Wow, this thing is packed well. They wrap the books in between more cardboard. Cardboard and some newspaper, it looks like. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. And the last one there. Comic Shop News. Oh, I actually know what these are just from the writing on the post-it notes. Oh, look at that. Ah, Star Wars Clone Wars issue number one. First appearance of Ahsoka Tano. I have one good copy, one reader copy. And uh, man, this book has been blowing up since it was announced Rosario Dawson is playing Ahsoka in The Mandalorian. Oh, and I got a screaming deal on this. Jeez, that one is just beautiful. Like I said, I got one reader because I want to check it out. They both came together, so couldn't beat that, right? I have like four copies of that now. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. We have a padded envelope inside of a padded envelope. Oh, okay, that's hilarious. Looks like we're open here on the side already. Got some nice cardboard in there. Definitely feel that. More painter's tape. Okay. Interesting. Man, I'm glad that didn't bend the book when I tried to pull that off. Okay, let's see. And again, we are still. Whoa! They actually put it inside as well. Pacha, what do we got here? We have Continuum issue number one and issue number three. Now, I bought this lot in particular for issue number one. And this is Joe Early, early Joe Lintner artwork. Now, if I bust this bad boy out here, let's see if I can't find it. Let's see, where are we? 
Joey. Come on, you. There it is. First appearance of Dawn. Right there. Absolutely beautiful. That's why I bought this book. You know, a lot of people don't count advertisements and such as first appearances. But you know what? It's always good to have them just in case. <laughs> you never know, right? Besides, I'm a huge fan of Joe Lintzner and Dawn, so had to have that anyway. All right. Last package. Let's see what we got. tabs on some masking tape. Always good. All right, what are you? Oh, hey, check that out. This is actually the Bite Club miniseries, issue number one through three. I just absolutely dug these covers, so I had to grab it. I'm actually pretty excited to read them, too. Oh, so awesome. All right. That's it for our mailbag day. If I'm not mistaken, this is, I don't know, episode 34 or something of mailbag day. Let's do a recap. We got our Bike Clubs, issue number one through three. We have Continuum, issue number one, Dawn, Early Appearance. Oh, Clone Wars, issue number one, first appearance of Sokotano, two copies right there. Monstrous, issue number one. No idea where this came from. Catwoman, issue number 51. Oh, just look at that. Man, that's beautiful. Wow, so gorgeous. And we have our Lady Death Original Art Edition. 400 printed. Absolutely beautiful. Hard, hard book to get. To Tempt the Gods, Masters of the Universe, issue number one. Some early He-Man books there. Detonator, issue number one, from Chaos Comics. Oh, the Platinum Edition. Shiny. <laughs> Dark Cybertron, Transformers, chapter one. Rob Liefeld cover. That's just crazy. Had no idea. And then we got this gorgeous Gen 13, issue number one, variant cover. Again, absolutely beautiful. And our packages of shame. Lady Death, issue number one. I think I have like eight copies of this book now. I cannot stop buying it. All right, guys. Those are my books. Thank you for watching. Uh, to, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that little CV right there. And actually, uh, get subscribed to my channel. Hit the bell up there. Let you know when I got the cool stuff coming out. To my patrons, you guys are awesome. Your names are scrolling up right here now with a huge, huge, huge thank you. And uh, to everyone else, thank you for watching. And uh, take it easy.